welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be teaching you guys how to make a beauty guru intro um just like the one you just watched right now so if you want to learn how to do that please keep on watching and also feel free to press like save download those videos so you can be able to be guided okay so the first thing we're going to be doing is listing out the apps we'll be needing so for this um video we're going to be needing a bunch of apps We'll be needing the eraser, we'll be needing the motion portrait, we'll be needing pocket video, we'll be needing velo, and we'll be needing kind master and font. So yeah, so six apps in total. So the first thing we're going to be doing is going to be going to do is going straight to kind master and starting this app. So first thing we will do is oops, my battery is low, but we're going to be starting a new project and the aspect ratio for this project is 16 by 9 16 ratio 9 which is the average um ratio for every youtube video so i'll be using that and we'll be creating a new media so you tap on photos you tap on background here you'll be seeing a bunch of background different colors but the one i use for the video is white so we'll be going for white as usual and importing that into our project so now we tap on the white background that we just imported and we're going to be making this video we're going to be making it into a 20 seconds video so let me extend that for you 20 seconds video and i think we're good yeah this is okay so you save that and export that to your gallery we're done exporting this um, we're going to be leaving this app totally and going to the next app. So the next app to use for this is um, Eraser. So we're going to be going to Eraser like this and start a new project. So we're going to be importing the photo we're going to be using. Just like the one you saw in the intro, I used this particular picture. Oh, no. This is not it. I'm just going to teach you guys how you can erase the background of any photo you want to use so that you can be able to, you know, place that without having any rough edges and all that. So this is the photo I used in my intro, the one you just watched. So you just click on erase to erase all the places that you don't like. Like So just use your finger to swipe across. I already have a photo that I want to use, but this is what you're going to do. Use your finger, swipe across, remove all the parts that you don't want to show, you, that you don't want showing in your in your intro or your picture or whatever. This is just how you're going to do that. Yeah, so this is how I did it. I already have a picture that I want to use though because I already carefully did that one. But, you know, just for the sake of this video, I'm just showing you guys. So once you're done... I didn't do this perfectly because I already have the picture, so I don't really want to save it again. So once you're done, just click on done and it's going to be saved directly to your click on done and it's going to be saved directly to your um camera roll. Once you come to this place, you have to click small, the small size or normal, but I use the small one, then you click on PNG transparent and you click save. So that's how you get this background if you get a picture like that and you leave this app because you're done with this app so the next app to use is um fonto guys you go to fonto you click on this camera sign here click on plain image there's a bunch of images here just click on any one because we're going to change the colors anyway so click on color then click on the green color the light green color because that's how the normal green screen is so click on the light green color and click on use and save so once you have this like this you click on the add image sign then you import the picture that we just erased its background um, which is um, this one okay then you click done so you carry that um, picture and just bring it here and of course you can see that this very picture is kind of like bent i'm looking like it, looks, it feels like i'm leaning on one side 
contrary to the one that is in my intro so i'll just show you how to make it stand upright okay so you just click on the tilt and you just adjust it how you want it i believe this is how the one on my intro is and also you increase the size if you want to make it bigger i think this size is okay and yeah that's it so once you have that like this just make sure you position it how you want it and you save the image okay that's how you get this image so once i've done this the next app to go to is motion portrait guys once you open your motion portrait this is how it's going to be looking like click on the mp then click on library okay then we are going to import this green screen picture that we just did right now the last one we just did so this is what we're going to be using so you import it like so and yeah so as you can see you have these three dotted lines on my lips covering my lips this is what guides your lip in the direction that is going to move because you're trying to make this bit um your face your my lip and my eye come alive so this is what is going to be making it look like as if i'm talking as if it's a video so click on these three dotted lines and drag this drag the line the dots to make sure it's in between the lips okay and also you make sure that your eyelids or your eye your eyeballs are properly pos uh, properly positioned i can't speak today guys properly positioned okay we have the circles in it and that's perfectly fine then you click okay and we're going to watch what we just did so as you can see yeah so now we want to record this motion this 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 animation that we just did we want to record it so you click on the video sign and it's going to start recording if you look on the top um right corner you can see it counting down once it gets to zero it's going to save okay yeah so this is it we are done recording it and this is what we just recorded uh -huh. this is a preview of it so just come here and save the video once you've saved the video you can now leave this app and the next place we are going to is one of my favorite apps which is pocket video so this is where all the magic happens guys so you come here you click on your youtube vlog you click on this plus sign go to camera roll you import the two videos that we just did but first you're importing the white 20 seconds video that we just did which is this one is just an empty white video that's the first one then we are going to click on video sticker click add then click camera roll import the last green screen video that we just did which is this one okay so click done and it's just it's just going to come yeah an overlay on it and you see this how it is just positioning how you want it to be you can make it smaller you can make it bigger you know just however you want it to be i think this size is perfectly okay this is fine i think this is okay and then um this is okay then click mask and click green screen to erase the green color and you see voila we have it so you can play it to see what we have you see so now once we have this one here the next thing we are going to do now is um impute all the finishing touches and all the you know text and everything so now we're going to import text into this um video so you click on text add then the text i use i use this add banner i think the one i use is from banners so let's search for it here okay this is the one i used okay so so double tap to edit so i'll just go i'm just going to write my channel name jenny seems you can add your channel name whatever you want to write there that's your business <laughs> so just write whatever you want there and you know change the font if you like um you can use any fonts you feel like using you know just make sure you use something that we can read and that your subscribers can read don't use something funny you know yeah you can also change the color of your text i think but i'm not sure if you can do but that's it after that you can let that be just position it 
where you want it you can increase the size reduce the size whatever you just feel free just feel free to do whatever you want to do then um we're going to what else did, did i do I added a bunch of things here as well okay now we're going to add um stickers okay so you click on the plus sign then in the sticker here you have to search so the sticker i want to search for now is the instagram animated sticker instagram animated sticker so let's search for that my network is a bit slow guys so maybe i'll just be quiet for the bit so i can go somewhere that i have network okay um okay okay so the one i used is this one the dancing um instagram sticker so i'm just going to reduce the size of this i'm going to make it really really small like so small like really 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 small guys so uh okay that's how small it should be i'm just going to move all of this because i feel like everything yeah yeah i just feel like okay just move it up a bit okay so let me move my sticker a bit like this then i'm just going to impute um text um add text and i'm going to use dynamic this time around i use this very black one this one so i'll add my instagram handle which is jennifer underscore two underscore you okay so i'll reduce that size i'll make it really small and i'll bring it right here i'll bring it right here just you know you can play around with this thing guys i don't think i need to be talking in the next like this whole video just watch and see what i do the next thing i'll be imputing the the sticker for snapchat so what you have to do is go back here and search snapchat okay snapchat stickers and this is the one i used this one that says follow me is the one i used so we reduce the size like how we did for the one for instagram we bring it this way as well and we also add text go to banner like we discussed dynamic sorry use this one and my uh, my my snapchat is um jenny hills um okay done you know you can put your own name you must not put my own name when you get there just put whatever your snapchat name is and place it right next to it okay so what else did i do then then we have to go to video sticker click the plus sign then we go to youtube for our green screen um glitter so here you just come to that place when you when you once you're here search for glitter green screen if you don't want a glitter green screen if you want something different you can just search for it but make sure you add green screen at the end of anything you're searching so that it's going to be able to place very well on your video okay so once you, you search for once you write glitter green screen just like what i wrote here it's just going to bring out this exact page just count one two three four the fourth one is the exact one that i use let it download because it's loading so we're just going to wait for it to finish downloading because it has to download before you can use it in your videos yay finally so we already have this downloaded so now we just have to queue it in and out where we want it to start so you see um if you can you see how the video has played out so we just have to cut it to right where we want it to begin and start so i will just show you right where i want mine to stop one mind stop right here and i want it to start from here okay from here now once you've queued once you've trimmed it to the size you want press done and it's just going to import on your recent project 
make sure you align it to exact size of your screen okay then once it's done click mask click green screen and yeah play let's see play it. you see how it is this is so beautiful guys this is perfect okay so now so guys i forgot to mention this in the pocket video app when you're in the pocket video app whilst you're putting your text and your stickers and everything you might want to um cue them in exactly where you want them to start because in my own intro as you can see mine did not start at the same time the video started um the picture popped up first before my jenny sims name came on before the whole instagram and the um snapchat um handle came on as well one after the other so everything did not start at the same time so whilst you're placing it make sure you cue it if you look down on your screen right now you see where it says cue you can cue it in to start from here or from the beginning understand so make sure you cue it in exactly where you want it to start from because mine in mine the picture popped out first and after that the whole jenny sims logo came on so cue it in exactly where you want it to start so let's just cue it in right here like immediately the picture comes up this one will now come up as well then we i think that's fine i don't know if i need to increase it a bit okay then um this one let's cue it as well this one should come up like later 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 here i think that should be fine then this one will come up as well um here as well okay, yeah. yeah so let's play it again and see okay yeah that's fine yeah that's 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 good that's good so after that cue in the the snapchat logo then also cue in the snapchat handle as well that is beautiful okay so i hope you guys are following what i'm doing i'm just trying to make sure everything pops up one after the other okay just one after the other yeah so this is it for this logo i forgot to mention it while i was in the pocket video so that's why i had to take you guys back to pocket video to make sure that you understand how you can do this whole pop-up thing because i know that most of you might want to do it like that like have a different sound for the pop-up or you know um just make sure that everything comes in one after the other so now let's go back to velo so guys right now we are in the velo app and now we are going to start the great video and edit the last video that we just edited on pocket video so which is this very one right here and let's just get right into it so now we already have everything the way we want it to be the whole uh we've already queued everything the way we want them to enter and the way we want them to sound so right now all we just have to do is to start putting in our soundtracks or sound effects and also pop uh, putting our stickers wherever i want them to be our templates and everything that we just want so the first thing i want to do here is go to motion stickers click on templates and we already have i just have one template here okay so that's the template i'm just going to put here and i'm just going to make sure i align it to the it's aligned to the rest of the video and yeah click um done and that's done you can also make this template anyways you can also make this template a little bit um opaque if that's what they call it so you can make it a little bit opaque you know lighter i think that's fine let me make it lighter by 60 so click done click done and yeah okay now um let's go to stickers so um in our in the previous one we had um we queued in 
the Google Play button right immediately after the 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 my my channel name came on so this is the google play button that i used so let me use that let me take that and place that right, ne right, right next to my name let me play that and place that right next to my name so i don't know where it queued in from so let me see wait okay so this is it so let's queue it in from here all right let me align it how i want it to be make sure guys that you always 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 cue this thing in cue it exactly where you want it to start from so that your group play button will not just come on and then your name will not just be there you understand so make sure you always align these things if you want it to be perfect and look exactly like mine okay so yeah that's just what i wanted to put it put out there for you guys okay i think it's aligned now yeah so this is perfect it's okay so now i'm going to queue in um what else do i have um what what other logo again do i have um let me see let me go through it what other one again um okay the subscribe me okay the subscribe me sticker as well let me put that one here that's it no need to go looking for this one it's just right here so this is i think this size is okay for me so this is where it's going to start from so i'll just click done and guys this is so easy i mean it's so easy like i said always pause play rewind whatever you want to do just to make sure you're getting this thing right make sure you do that okay now let's go to audio and start putting in effects sound effects so for this subscribe me i think i used the um, mouse click so i'm just going to first of all let me take you back first of all i'm just going to check and see where this this thing clicks yeah here here right when it's inside so i'll just go to sound effect and click on mouse click one that's the one i used in my own so let's say yeah mouse click one that's the one i used and yeah so let's play it and see if if it if it, if it entered <laughs> yeah and what again the second one yeah so let me put the second one again mouse click one good so play it. let's see yeah good okay see so now what i want to do next now is to take this subscribe me thingy and extend it yeah so i'm going to take the subscribe something and extend it to the end yeah perfect oh my god guys this is just so perfect guys so yeah extend it click done and then let me put in the the sound for my picture immediately my picture came on so in the beginning i'll just put the which one did i use camera shutter yeah that's the one i use camera shutter that's the first one that i used so let's look for camera shutter for my picture anything my picture came on that's the sound i used yeah yeah then after that when my name when the play button and my name came no after the camera shutter then this one this whole shiny stuff going across my face i used um i used the sound effects um transition four that's the one i used transition four where are you guy transition four 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 transition four yes this is the one i use so this is the one i used for my own so let me play it and see first okay i think that's fine just right immediately then okay that's fine that's okay and that's the only thing that i used guys and yeah i think i'm good right now okay i'm th i think i'm perfectly okay right now before this one yeah so after we've done this guys that comes to the end yes i think that is the end of this video guys i hope this was able to like you know 
teach you what you wanted to know about my intro this is just how you can create your own intro without using any expensive apps or any a macbook or any um um expensive iOS software just use your iphone and these apps that i listed um right here for you guys and you're good to go and you'll have your intro looking so pang in no time okay thank you very much for watching i hope i was able to teach one or two people here something and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one also don't leave this page without checking out the next thing okay you can learn something from the next video just check it out and yeah that's it bye <laughs>